So we have a full moon tomorrow. Mercury is at the heart of the sun, which means that we're halfway through retrograde. And there's a lot of squares in the sky. I'm going to do my best to make this a shorter video, but it might be a little bit longer. So stick with me to the end if you can. My name is Sarah. I'm SRB Stars and all the things. If you'd like to learn how to work with me, pause to read because I got a lot to say today. So a big component of this full moon is squares. And I, I need you to understand that. So squares are, they're a 90 degree angle and it's a frustration. They wake us up. They make us think. They make us contemplate. It starts today. Actually, it started earlier this week with Mars, but it's continuing on. So an Aquarius moon, which is the moon we're in right now, is an air sign. So if you get really frustrated by these squares, the one thing I want you to take from this video is to breathe because it is air. So in four counts, hold four counts, out four counts, hold four counts, box breathing, do that. An Aquarius moon does not want to do things the traditional way. You might hear the word no a lot if you're a parent. You might hear, ooh, but could we try it this way? With the sun and Mercury meeting up today around nine o'clock tonight, today, tomorrow might be a really great time to brain dump all of those brilliant ideas because that's when he is his most brilliant is when he's sitting in the heart of the sun. So you might have a lot of them, especially on how you can be your most authentic self. He's a part of this full moon. And then you have Mercury squaring Uranus, which also leads to those brilliant downloads and trying to go around and figuring out how best to solve things. So today's a really great day to really tap into that. And then we have Venus squaring Jupiter and Venus is our resources and how we do relationships and Jupiter is our beliefs and since he's in Gemini is also how we think and so you might be thinking about your relationships and how are they working for you. Um, you might be a little bit spendy today. <laughs> I just spent $70 on books to learn more about my Celtic heritage so that tracks. And then we have the full moon tomorrow. And we have another square, which I'll talk more about tomorrow between Jupiter and Saturn, which is one of the bigger astrological events of this year. And the last time they had a really big event together was 2020 and yeah, there's that. So with Uranus being a big player with this full moon, it's a lot of expect the unexpected energy. With Saturn, in an equally big player with this full moon, it's a lot of, okay, you want to bring those dreams into reality, but how are you practically going to make it happen? I'm currently trying to figure out some things myself. And what I recommend for you to honor this full moon is to just go out and see her. Just go out tonight and see her. And if you happen to be in Minnesota, you might even see some Northern Lights too. And Underneath that full moon, just ask her to help you release anything that you don't know needs to be released to help you be the most authentic you because we need you to be the most authentic you. I don't recommend charging your moon water or your crystals because there's a lot of frustration in the air. And why would you want to do that to your water or to your crystals? I don't know. So it was a little longer. Did this help?